What I wanted to I wanted to gossip with you about the um, the Trump situation. Mm. Oh, it was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> he won the debate and he wasn't even there. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, here's here's the inter- I don't see about it. Well, That's exactly my point. Did you notice that that nobody's saying shit about that? Because he spanked them. See, this whole thing with Megyn Kelly had nothing to do with her being mean to him. It just, it was all about Donald Trump freaking sending a warning shot against, uh, across all the media's bow. You see, they lost, Fox News lost $36 million last night. If Trump had been there, they'd have been making $750,000 per minute on advertising. When he bailed, that dropped to $150,000 per minute. Okay. The head guy of Fox News called him three or four times begging him to go back on that show. And he just ignored him. Okay. So, so what he's done is he's put the fear of God of these, in, in these people because uh, they now know that Donald knows the secret. And the secret is, is that these news programs can only attract viewers if they have somebody interesting on the screen. Okay? That's how they make their money. Okay? And Trump is a major draw. And they've been really freaking mean to him. All the media, you know, um, making fun of him, uh, saying silly shit like he's, uh, he's not, you know, he he's can't be president when in fact it looks very much like he is going to be the next president. If the, if the trends continue, he's just going to roll right through all these primaries. He's just going to crush everybody. We have Democrats freaking renouncing their uh, uh, party affiliation and signing up for the Republican Party just so they can vote for Donald Trump. Yeah. You know, and this isn't some sleazy freaking Hillary. Fo- uh, let's uh, let's get the, the the wrong guy in there so we can win the election. Trump is going to stomp uh, Hillary. And matter of fact, Hillary's. Uh, uh, campaign manager just admitted to that. I don't know if they wanted it to be public, but they pretty much said that if Donald Trump gets the nomination, Hillary's going to be done. But she might be in jail by then. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, I think they're going to indict her because, you know, if the director of the FBI goes through with his threat to resign if they don't indict her, you know, that's going to make the government look freaking more corrupt than it usually does so so she's done but uh you know but back to donald uh, what you're going to see what i think you're going to see is you're going to see that the tone of how the establishment treats him is going to change dramatically after the iowa uh, and certainly the new uh hampshire primaries uh, because they're going to realize right then and there that Donald's going to be the next president, and he's a spiteful motherfucker. <laughs> and he's going to Bambi slam anybody that pisses him off. You know? Uh, now, Fox News can, you know, complain and whine about how, about journalistic integrity all they want. But the bottom line is they have a money-making operation there. Okay? And, um, uh, by the way, Trump is still showing up on Fox News all the time. He's still doing the O'Reilly factor. You know? They, they're not going to turn down that free money. <laughs> you know? And does Donald just school him? Donald just taught him, like, look, screw with me, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick you. So, um, but I don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. What I do know is that uh, the next few weeks are going to be very interesting and I should probably buy I should probably buy more popcorn because it's going to get real fun real quick 
Now, I did.